time of death. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, H. Bon Stunner. And I wanted to bring you something I don't think many other people are bringing you. And that is the breakdown, teardown, um, autopsy, if you will, of a scuff gaming controller. Um, I decided to do this video because I was curious as to what was inside of the SCUF gaming controller. So I was sure other people would probably be just as curious. So I decided to uh, start to pop it open. So what I'm going to do is figure out exactly how to pop this open delicately without breaking anything because I want to see what it looks like under here. And once I do that... I almost got it open guys once I get it completely open I will come back and show you exactly how I did it so I'm almost there stand by alright guys so check it out I've got it open and it looks very much like I built this controller <laughs> but as you can see in here um, there's paddle one paddle two you've got your battery and this is a newer PCB board which is marvelous Ooh, we're gonna snatch that battery right out of there um, and yeah see what else we got here we got a few spots on the actual board where what that I'm looking at where they have soldered into in order to make all this work looks like so we've got a power I need to get my magnifying glass out because it is hard to see Exactly what's going on with this spot here on this on this board? Um, I've got to get my my magnifying glass out because it's hard to see exactly where they've soldered on the board in order to make this connection. But because these points are very small, but I'm used to working with them. And yeah, other than that, shit, it looks pretty normal to me. So what I'm gonna do is tear all this down and start working with it. So. I'm going to see what else is in here, so stand by. We're going to take it all the way down, then we're going to put it all the way back up once I get a better handle on what else is in here. This is cool because I've never worked on another modded controller that wasn't modded by me, so I think that's kind of neat, <laughs> which I'm you know, pretty excited about. Um, they've put a little piece of metal digit that they've cut out. Um, if you look in here, there's this little metal digit right here. And it's little. But that is what's blocking and giving you that uh, little bit faster split second um, rapid fire time, if you will. So that is kind of cool. I think that was I think that's neat. Makes that makes that uh makes that lean back like I'm doing. So I think that's pretty cool. So we'll take those off. Let's pop the, the actual board out. We got a, a couple more things to do before we can get the board out. I've worked on this controller a bunch of times before. I'm a doctor. I know what I'm doing. Pull this out and see what we end up with uh, once it's all the way out because it's really not that tough of a mod I don't think um, it's a brand new controller we've got the actual main board out it looks pretty should look familiar to you guys the new any of you that's worked on the new um, daughter board that's got the three dots in it. It's the same board that I modded in my other video because you're trying to figure out how to get an LED light, LED light to shine through. So yeah, this is a newer body style, but there's just not a whole lot else going on here. So I'm just looking to see um, how it breaks down and you know I hate to say it guys, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to pretty much tear it all the way down. Let me zoom out. Whoa. Avalanche. Um, still stuck in there. Get the PS button up here. Uh, the face. 
place is naked. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. It's a done deal. And we've got our controller. And all they did on the back of this thing was uh, solder in a couple of... Um, I mean, they didn't solder. In order to make the actual paddle, they went in and uh, unscrewed a few pieces. Uh, the, they, excuse me, they didn't unscrew. They screwed in these pieces of, I guess this is like aluminum, might even be a, it's actually a plastic piece of plastic here. And that's it. They screwed it in up top. And if you look in the back here, uh, let me see if I can zoom in on that. It just screwed into the body. Bada bing, bada boom. There's your paddle. So, yeah, that's it. Let's look at the front because I told you I wanted to do some comparisons on that. Um, you guys are not going to actually believe this, but there is absolutely no difference in the fronts of these two controllers here. It's hard to show them side by side, but they didn't do anything. So, that actual one. That whole thing where they say it, they do a uh, no slow turn, that's a myth. Now, they may do something, but it's not anything spectacular because that controller looks exactly like this controller on the inside. So, I was expecting to see it shaved down or something. It is not. It's not been altered. It is, it is factory stock. And you guys can see it just like I'm seeing it. It's all shiny. They didn't repaint anything. So that's the same as a factory shell. So I am going to reassemble this controller is my plans now. Oh, let me adjust the camera so you can see. I'm going to reassemble this black controller. And I'm going to make my own version of a itchy scuff, if you will. Uh, using my Urban Camo controller. I will bring a video showing you the finished results and if I get enough likes on that video uh, which will be my controller compared to the scuff uh, I will do a how-to video. That's all I got guys. Thanks so much for watching. Here uh, is the remains of the autopsy of an actual scuff controller. One of the few if not the only that's on YouTube. That's all I got. Peace.